I ever show you my butt cheeks on accident, I apologize. Here we go. Hey there, Tundra Nation. For the most part, I think gun owners like to stick to legacy brands. New gun companies seem to have a harder time making a good impression than Danny DeVito would at an NBA tryout. But Palmetto State Armory has gone from upstart to industry titan in a little over 15 years. So what's their secret? How do they churn out so much product by volume? I had the same exact questions about Santa Claus until I turned 25 and found out he wasn't real. So the real question here is, is Palmetto State Armory just another pretender? Today, we're gonna take a look into the company that single-handedly makes every other SHOT Show booth cry and run home to their mommies, all while asking, how did PSA become the biggest modern gun company? All right, now it's time to be a prick about everything. First reason, their fans are die-hard maniacs. PSA inspires the kind of borderline crazy devotion that you normally don't see outside of Warhammer 40k tournaments and Raiders home games. Go on social media and just try to ask what your next AR or AK should be. Unless you project Knight's armament energy, and since you wore a tap out shirt with a Dale Earnhardt cap to your sister's wedding, you don't, the response will invariably be PSA. Their Legion of Minions are not only satisfied owning five different PSA rifles instead of, you know, like, Two much better guns for the same exact price, they're more than happy to sell everybody else on those entry-level guns too. PSA devotees prophesize, or however you say that word, more than a Mormon missionary with a weekly quota. And this rabid fanboy army is the strongest amongst Gen Z shooters. Think about it. If you just graduated college and you'd taken up residence at the luxurious Chateau de la Mom's basement, well, you wouldn't have a lot of money left over after, of course, those Counter-Strike skins, anime Blu-rays, and, you know, that special little sweetheart on OnlyFans you know will just make perfect wifey material someday. It's not gonna happen, pal. Don't put it on the pedestal! Come on, my guy! I was never like you. I don't really understand you at all, you're disgusting. She belongs to the streets! So your gun budget is a little tight, but you know exactly where you can get a $500 GAT that doesn't have the poverty pony roll mark of doom. PSA's most fervent supporters are 20-somethings, and they don't even mind if their cheap rifle has constant failure to fire malfunctions, because guess what? They don't even have enough money for ammo. PSA has become practically a lifestyle brand for the Reddit-bound Zoomer newbies, and they get super defensive if you suggest AK shouldn't have headspace issues after just 100 rounds. Incurring their wrath on social media is going to result in more aggravation and frustrated rage than a buffering notice on streaming hentai services. He's a solid guy. He's a good guy. I don't judge his cartoon porn addiction. I'm not going to hey, be that guy. Hentai. Get I don't judge it. It's called hentai. But you know what? I'm not even going to be a snob here. I love it that PSA is bringing a new generation of shooters on board. Brands like Colt and Remington have fans that are honestly one blood pressure pill away from playing the great bingo game in the sky. And we need those youngsters to keep the two-way active and healthy. So what if the PSA fanatics are a little bit, I don't know, overzealous? <laughs> Passion like that is exactly what the gun world needs most. The second reason PSA is at the top of the heap, well, it's their guns are frankly the best poverty options. In the past, we've definitely lit them up for being the, I don't know, it's better than a sharpened stick tier, but maybe they're the best possible gun at that price point. Sure, their guns have some QC issues, but the gun world, let's be honest, is kind of like one big AA meeting. We all have issues, and we're probably all drunk. The important thing is that we're trying to get better. LMT and Noveski are what we want to be, but PSA, well, that's what we are now. Messed up, trying our best, and genuinely adequate. When Grand Thumbs AK-74 had a trunnion that wore out faster than a tissue paper condom, PSA made it right. They're not like one of those companies that's just gonna take your money and constantly disappoint you because they don't care. HK, excuse me, I had a cough right there. They actually want to get better and do right by their customer base. PSA, that is. 
at HK. The road to a reliable gun might involve more trips back to the factory than Joe Biden trying to prove he's blue collar, but PSA wants to make it work. Now, maybe making excuses kind of sounds like weak justification, and based on our content in the past, well, I'd say that's a fair point. The PSA fanboy legion typically ingests more copium than Bud Light shareholders convincing themselves that things are going to turn around. If you buy a gun, you shouldn't have to cross your fingers and hope that it's going to work. That's a fact. But it is good to know that if it doesn't, your South Carolina homeboys got your back. You ask me what I think you should do when you come visit, and... I don't like you. I'm ashamed it took me as long as it did. <laughs> I got a whole corridor for you then. PSA guns generally seem to perform well, and it could be worse, honestly. You could be buying a firearm made overseas that carries a warranty that's void if you pull the trigger, imported in a place where it's just an empty office room with a perpetually ringing phone. So give PSA their due credit. And the third reason that PSA is the biggest current year gun company? Well, they are masters of the SHOT Show hype. Imagine going to the gun industry's biggest event of the year and not having anything new to show. Could you imagine being like some little Austrian company with a name that rhymes with block and being so lazy and uninteresting? Yeah, even the more ambitious brands that want to add half a dozen new SKUs to their catalog are absolutely weak and anemic in comparison to PSA's annual plan for world domination. What do you want to do tonight? The same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. Aw, oh, that's adorable. You're gonna release your Me Too striker fired polymer gun in a new color? Ooh, look, it's FDE. How original. Hey, tell the Imagineers at your R&D team they can take a week off. Nope, sorry, pal. PSA is above that, and PSA came to play. You're thinking about making a 5.7 pistol? Fuck you! PSA has three 5.7 guns and they're releasing an MP7 clone in 5.7 to boot. You're thinking about doing a World War II callback rifle? Fuck you! PSA will just buy Hill and Mac to get the drop on the SDG-44. You're thinking about making an American AK? Fuck you! PSA is releasing a phase plasma rifle in the 40 watt range, and if that one isn't so real, then so what? PSA promises nothing. You sit on a throne of lies. Let's be honest, you're here for the adrenaline jacking thrill of the minute, craziest and most exciting announcements on offer, and PSA is bringing them to you. All right, back to reality for just a second. It's all just vaporware, mostly. Palmetto State Armory, well, they are dreamers, and dreamers sometimes overpromise and underdeliver. We didn't see the Sturmgewehr, and we didn't see the Switch Pistol. We might never see the PSA MP5 or SVD. But the point here is that PSA knows how to push those happy endorphin buttons in the brain of every gun guy out there. Whatever you want, PSA has a prototype that will help you start the year in a positive and optimistic mood. Sure, by October, you're scratching your head and wondering what the hell happened, but this is just the inevitable downside of so many great announcements. You just can't keep them all straight. Some will fall by the wayside. In the words of Socrates, is a dream a lie if it don't come true? Or is it something worse? No, wait, that was Springsteen. Yeah, the, the point here is you can't blame a hungry young company for dreaming so big. When they do hit it out of the park, we all win. Honestly, how many of us would even own AKs right now if it wasn't for PSA saying, let's go. The fourth reason for PSA's ascendancy, a lot of us are just really poor. Gun guys are so poor when we take a walk in the park, ducks throw breadcrumbs at us. We're so poor, we eat cereal with a fork to save the milk. We're so poor that if we won the lottery jackpot, we would just break even. And no, these are not repurposed yo mama jokes. You're just imagining that. When somebody tells us we can get a brand new functional firearm for less money than a Biden administration trip to the grocery store, we don't ask questions like what grade steel are the barrel and BCG made out of. We just leapfrog over our desk, run to our wallet, and start punching in credit card digits as fast as we can. <sighs> that is what you PSA fanboys do. Let's be honest. Don't do that, folks. That's not smart. I've got one up there, too. 
PSA has stumbled upon the most ingenious marketing and production system of all time. Promise us what we want, sell it to us for a price we can't say no to, and then figure out how the heck they're going to make it all work a year or two from now. Viva capitalism! Give us what we want and keep it cheap. We're just not snobbish enough to care about the social cloud of our role mark. We can't afford to be. Man, that sucks! What? Whatever real or imagined advantage you get from posting your $4,000 luxury rifle on Instagram, it's just not in the cards for us dirt farmers. Sure, we can somehow cobble together enough cash one day so that we turn around and we have seven strip lowers, 10 assorted mag pull stocks, six barrels of various chamberings, an assortment of BCGs, and 12 complete fully assembled rifles. Plus so many mags and miscellaneous small parts, we literally can't keep track of them, but we are too poor to afford a Radian. Damn it. Actually, the truth is, shocking, we have poor impulse control. Parts are cheap today, whereas complex, high-quality rifles are expensive months from now. Even more shrewd than their pricing, PSA has tapped into the instant gratification mentality, and that's been their unlimited supply of dollars. You can buy a few parts here and a few parts there, and before you know it, you spent enough money so that you could have afforded whatever upper tier rifle you wanted, but you just had to go and be Johnny Piecemeal, and now you've collected a million cheap parts like a kindergartner collects Happy Meal toys. Good job. PSA? Well, they're the free-to-play, pay-to-win mobile app that looks friendly up front but massacres your wallet in microtransactions. I ain't even mad, to be honest. I have to give those geniuses a tip of the hat for their business acumen. Everybody over at PSA deserves a Scrooge McDuck-style swim around the money pit. And do a lap for me, by the way, because I just put a roast beef sandwich on layaway. That's how poor I am. Thanks, Obama. And the fifth and final reason PSA is absolutely crushing it, they are genuinely pro 2A. Look, everything we do here at Tundra is a little bit, or really completely tongue in cheek. But we're totally serious when we say we love it when a company's top priority is arming civilians as a way to strengthen the second amendment. Yes, that's awesome. Believe it or not, there are gun companies out there that exist just to chase military contracts, and they maybe kind of don't care about U.S. civilians' rights being infringed. PSA is not one of those companies. If every citizen across all income brackets is armed with scary, evil, full semi-auto assault weapons, then the media is going to have a harder time betraying them as solely being used by terrorists, and it sets an important precedent. Let me ask you a question. Are you familiar with the Supreme Court case, District of Columbia versus Heller? If not, go have an adult read it to you and you'll find that the Second Amendment protects all firearms in common use by the citizenry. All AR and AK companies are helping, but I don't think that there's a company out there that's put more cordless hole punchers in the hands of Joe Lunchbox than good old PSA. Man, that's a good line. We like to have our roast, but tonight, we're going to lift a drink, an imaginary one, to our friends in South Carolina for doing their part in the fight for the Second Amendment. Enjoy those affordable guns and make sure to subscribe, folks. Cheers.